God loves me for who I am. God accepts me for who I am. And this is just the way I am, right? Hey, this video is all about that. We're going to jump right into it. Let's go. God does love you. Let me start it off. God loves you. He loves you, your spirit that you were created to be. Now, the actions that you do, that's different because those actions, you can actually grieve the Holy Spirit. You can, dang, man, you know what? You're not finding favor in God's sight. God's now, he's, you're provoking his wrath. You're stirring it up. You're stirring up the, the wrath for the day of judgment. You're, so, like, there are things that you can do that's going to provoke God's wrath on you. But God loves me, though. He does love you. He loves you so much and he wants you to, he wants to not pour out his wrath on you. He wants to not, I wish you didn't have to suffer for my wrath. And that's why he sent Jesus to, to like pay the price for us, to make the bridge, to make the way for us to come back, to reconcile ourselves back to God because sin separates us. And we're all sinners. We're all born sinners. Nobody is righteous. No, not one. So because there's a big old gap, whoo, Jesus is now the bridge, and now we walk on Jesus. We, we put our faith in that sacrifice and say, Father, thank you so much for making a way for me to come home. I love you, Lord. All right, but so I just want to say all that. Let's, clear, let's clarify that. Now, God loves you. He does love you. He doesn't want anybody to perish. He wants all to come to repentance that we can all go to heaven and we can live an everlasting life and be at peace with God. But the sad part is not everybody is going to do that part. Everybody just hears God loves me and they run with that. God, because, because God loves you, he accepts you. He'll accept me for however I am. Yes, 100% he will accept you just the way that you are. You can start, meaning the starting point, the day that you decide to start your race. Doesn't matter what you look like. Doesn't matter what you just finished doing. Doesn't matter what you just finished looking at. Doesn't matter what's in your lungs, what's in your liver. Doesn't matter what's, doesn't matter any of that. Doesn't matter where you are. The day that you decide to start your race and that you decide to say, you know what, Lord? I'm going to go with you, man. I'm going. You're right. I want you to be my. The day that you decide to do that, you're in. You're accepted. All right? So let's say I'm a mess. My life is the worst sin you can ever think of. And this is, man, man, I want to get saved, but I got to clean my life up first. You can't. You can't clean your life up first. Why? Because you've been trying, haven't you? Well, I mean, no, 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 but I mean, like, let me just at least stop sinning as much. Doesn't, you can't. You, you can't. Let me, let me save you the time. You can't stop sinning on your own. That's it. You're done. All right? So just whatever you're doing, put it down. Say, Lord, you're right. I'm going to come to you. Now, just in the condition that you're in, you could be drunk, you could be high, whatever. In the condition that you're in, God will take you. Just like that. Now, when God takes you, he accepts you. You are now adopted by grace in Christ's family. You're in. But, 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 God loves you so much that not only will he take you, but he will move you. And he, will, he loves you so much to leave you like this. That's why God gives us the fruits of the Spirit, that they are the evidence that we walk by the Spirit of God. So if you say, Lord, I want to get saved, nothing's stopping you from getting saved and being on God's team. You could be in it right now. But I mean, I got debt. I haven't graduated school. I'm only 13. Uh, I'm not even married yet. I don't, you don't have to have anything. Just the way that you are. Just the way that you are right now, God will take you like this. But you don't know, man, I'm a racist. Man, I'm a homosexual. Man, I'm this. This is what I, God will take you like that. And then you know what he'll do with you? He'll love you so much that he will change you from that as you go from glory to glory. It's a process called sanctification. God will break things off of your life that will, and you'll look back one day and say, oh, wow, dang, look how far I've gone. And then there'll be some days where you're like, dang, Lord, I don't even know if I can even go further. I mean, what the heck? This is so hard. And you'll say, God will remind you, hey, you know what? Just look back, man. You're not who you were. Look at who you used to be before Christ. And now look at who you are now. You're right. You're right. It's not perfect. You're not, you're not where you want to be. Hey, but thank God you're not where you used to be. It's a journey. You're still going every day. You should be taking steps forward spiritually. So yes, God accepts you. Yes, God loves you. He loves you. He loves you so much and he accepts you exactly the way that you are. But he also loves you enough and he loves you more than you love yourself that he is willing to move you and change you from what you are 
But I mean, if God loves me, why is he going to change me? Because you, you're broken. You're broken. You're, you're, you're backwards. You, you, you guys, have you ever been to a barbecue or something like that? Been to a barbecue? And then like the next day, you get that hoodie that you just had, that you're wearing that night at the barbecue or the bonfire or whatever. Dang. Dang, I smell the aqua. Bro, I, this, this smells like, like I was getting high in my room. This, my mom smelled me coming in the door like this? Dang. You know what I mean? Whoa. So th this is what you come to God in. And God's like, hey, hey, come on in. You ready? I love you. Now here, gives you something new to put on. Hey, put this hoodie on. Put this on. And let, let me give you a garment of praise. Let me give you this. I'll trade you your mourning for this. I'll give you this for your ashes. I'll, I'll, I'll exchange you. There's an exchange that's made. You take off yours because it's worthless. That, that, that was me. And you put on God's. Oh, wow. This is nice. Nice. Thank you, Father. Yes, sir. And then you start your journey. You're wearing the new stuff. Like when you get a new job, they give you a uniform to wear. If you're going to a job that has a uniform, you don't just show up in your street clothes. thought you guys hired me. I wasn't wearing my uniform when you hired me when I came for the interview, but you still hired me. Bro, okay, you're in, right? We hired you, but now we need you to put this uniform on. That way you can be part of the team. And the people that, the people that are outside that are looking for help, they'll know. They'll know to look to you because you've got the answer. How? Because you're wearing this Walmart vest. So you know where the stuff is. You're wearing this Target red shirt and the khaki pants. And they'll know who to ask for help. Same thing happens with Christ. You come get saved. Lord, I, I, I want a job. My life sucks right now. I, nothing is working for me. Please. I heard you can help me, man. I need some help. Please, I'm done. I can't do anything else. God says, I got you. You start, okay. When can I start? Right now. You start right now. Okay. Here, put this jersey on. Put this on. Take off your old stuff. Put on the new stuff. Dang. All right. Now, the new stuff is for you. It reminds you that you're on the team. You're representing the Father. Thank you, Father, for adopting me by grace. I've been adopted by grace. Thank you, Father. And now, you're a light shining so that others can come out here and ask you for help. <gasps> hey, that guy, something's different about you, bro. What is it? I want what you have. You're happy all the time. I don't get it. Why the heck are you so happy? Why do you come to work and you're always upbeat? I, I, wanna, I, I want what you got. And then that's when you say, hey, I got Jesus, bro. That's literally all I did. I didn't do anything else. I go to church now. I read my Bible. I pray. I know, right? What? Me? I know. I know. I don't get it either. I don't get it either. I mean, I don't understand it all. I'm still trying. to. I'm still trying. You know what I mean? I, I might fall. I might have a drink. But I'm still going. I'm trying to do this, man. I'm trying to li live this God thing for real. And it's been awesome since I've been doing it. Thank you, Father. That's literally it. That's it. So God accepts you just the way that you are and the condition that you're in. But he loves you enough to change you from that. He's not going to leave you that way. If he left you that way and said, that's good enough. No, it's not good enough. It's good enough to have your heart surrendered. But let's say 10 years from now, a month from now, two weeks from now, you're still like, man, eh, man, eh, whatever. Well, you eventually you will get fired from your job. But I thought you you gave me the clothes though. You said I work for Target. You said I work for I got the vest. You can't take my vest. I'm sorry, man. The Bible says that faith without works is dead. And we'll have a whole study about salvation, Calvinism, Arminian. We'll have we'll have a big old. We got tons of stuff coming up, man. Thank you, Father, for the Holy Spirit. Mm. And let's, moving us and driving us. So let's go, man. A lot of things coming up. But the first thing you got to do is make sure that you're in. Because right now, a lot of us need a job. Like, you, you need a job. And God's always hiring. He says, come on, baby. Whenever you're done getting those weak jobs, yep, 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 yeah. Go work over there. Go. You want that? Okay, go. It's going to pay you more money, right? And it lets you down. Oh, nah. The wages of sin is death. Whenever you get paid from that job, it's not going to be worth it. And you better quit before you get paid over there because it's death. It's separation from me. All right, finally, whenever you're ready, I got this job for you. Oh, yes. Lord, can I get this? Yes, you're hired. Oh, nice. Now put on this. Put on this. Why? Because that way you know who you work for. Don't forget what story. Yep, Lord, I'm on your team, Father. So I can't be acting crazy. Customers will be cussing me out. Mm. But you can't do that to them. Because why? You're representing the company. You're representing the brand. You're representing God. You're representing that. And it also lets others know who they can go to for help. When they see that change, when they see you different, acting different, walking by the fruits of the Spirit, I keep on, I keep on hearing you say that. Yeah, it's, it's, you get love, man, like literally. You, you get it. Just pray. I bet you, bro. I double dog dare you. If you're not saved and you're not, man, I, you know, I, I know about God. Nah, nah, nah. You got to know the God. 
you got to know God, the God of the Bible, that Jesus. You have to know him. But I mean, I mean I'm mean, i not crazy. I'm not a radical kind of guy. That's, that's normal. Somebody told you, somebody conditioned you and all of us and said, it's weird to be 100% for Jesus. you got to be 50-50, some for Jesus and some for the world, and you kind of mix them up. No, no, no. You go 100% for Christ, and then Christ equips you, and he, whoa, gives you all this stuff, all this armor. You're like, dang. And then you know what he does? Oh, he kicks you out and puts you into the world. Say, now go. Go tell him about me. And you go do it. That's what he did to me. That's what he can do for you. Because our lives aren't about us. If it was about us, man, I get saved, go to heaven, I'm done. Boop, die instantly as soon as I get saved. But you got a job to do. Right? You've been commissioned. You got a charge to give. You've been charged to go make disciples. That's, that's what it's all about, man. So if you're ready to get on this team, let's go. All you got to do is this. Lord, Father, you just talk to God like, like you talk to me. Talk to anybody else. Saying, Lord, I'm so sorry, man. You're right. Father, I am a sinner. Man, I can't, I can't even do this life my way. I try to do it my way. It doesn't even work. It doesn't work, man. The devil lied to me. You, I believed it. I believed, I thought you sucked. I didn't even know who you were. Oh, man, I'm sorry, Father. You're right. But I'm going to give you a chance. So I'm going to give you one chance. And if you're really real, if you're really real, change my heart right now. Change my heart. Give me, those, give me that, that stuff that, that, that's in the Bible. I want to know the Jesus that's in the Bible. Give me those fruits of the Spirit. I want love. I want peace. I want all of that. Come on, man. Be real, Father. Be real. If you're not real and you don't change me, Father, then I don't know. I'll go back and do my own thing or something. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. But I need you, Lord. I'm going to give you a real chance. For real. All right, man. In Jesus' name, amen. I prayed a prayer just like that. Something like that. Not verbatim. And I was never the same since then. Turn on MTV. Saw rappers. Normal videos that seemed forever. Whoa! I had to turn it off. I was like, dang. All the people, they're, they're not saved. They're going to hell. I was like, whoa! What am I thinking? I had to turn it off. I don't even know what's happening. It was amazing. I was, shoot, I don't know, 17 years, I was seven, 18 years ago when that happened. Never been the same since then. I double dog dare you to do it. I double dog dare you to pray. Ask God to for real change your heart. To come in and, Lord, have it. You can have it all, Lord. I ruined my life. You fix it. I quit. I give this life up. You live in me. Boom. He'll come in and say, What's up? Let's go. He's not going to say, Yeah, finally, get out of here. He said, hey, I was just waiting for that. Now your training can start. Let's go. All right, we love you, Father. Let's go get him. Let's go make disciples. Yeah. Thank you, Father. It's our honor. All your sons, all your daughters give you praise. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father.